is my pre-op appointment and I'm here today just to the pre-op is uh, basically the day before surgery, so I'm here today. Tomorrow I go into surgery. I'm not sure what time yet, but in the meantime, I just have to fill out all of these papers. Y'all see all these papers? Yes, I don't want y'all to see all my information. That's why I turned it backwards, but all these papers I had to fill out signature-wise. They're telling you uh, what's to be expected, um, everything about the surgery, the liposuction, and all that stuff, With um, and letting you know what you need to do the day, the, uh, the day of surgery surgery as far as the prep prepping um showering with antibacterial soap not using putting on uh, you know uh no makeup and all the other stuff so y'all the next time you see me is when i have a uh meeting i'm guessing i'm gonna have a meeting with the doctor my last quest and i got wish pics that i'm gonna show him so y'all i'll see y'all soon peace and nothing for high blood pressure or thyroid? No, no, no. Okay. okay, just making sure. Um, do you take vitamins? No. No, okay, so for the surgery, um, well, I mean, it's already tomorrow, but if you have to take anything for pain, take Tylenol, okay? After that, you can start taking um, the medication that we give you. You're gonna start that after the surgery. You're not gonna start anything beforehand, okay? okay. Um, for today, drink as much water as you can so that you're hydrated when you come in, okay? okay? By midnight tonight, you cannot eat or drink anything after that point. So no mints, gums, candies, nothing in your mouth. Okay. You can swallow the water. I mean, um, brush your teeth in the morning. Just don't swallow the water. Okay? All right. Okay. Um, when you come in, make sure that you don't... I don't want you to wear any makeup, um, no lotions, deodorants, nothing on your skin. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, when you come in, wear loose and comfortable clothing. So nothing tight at all. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, what else? Bring your prescriptions in with you. The doctor's going to call them in today for you. Okay? okay? So make sure you pick them up, bring them in. If not, then your family can pick them up while you're in surgery. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, otherwise, we're going to do your photos in the morning. Um, there's not really any other instructions on before surgery for prepping. Okay. okay. Um, just after surgery, because of the tummy tuck, you are going to have to um, be bent forward. Okay. Mm -hmm. So after, you want to be hunched forward just to baby your wound, and then you're also going to have a drain. Okay, the drain's gonna be a long tube that's gonna come out of the side and it's gonna go into this little bulb. We call it like a grenade. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how it's gonna work is a little grenade. There's two ports. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one port is gonna be connected to the tube that's in your skin. Okay, the other port is gonna be like a little lever. Okay, so you're gonna pop the lever off when you're ready to drain it. And when it opens, um, it's gonna have um, lines on there and it'll tell you measurements, okay? okay? So it's by 25, so you're gonna measure exactly how much fluid is in there, mm -hmm. then you're gonna write it on that form that I'm giving you, okay? okay? So you're gonna write the time, what drain, the date, and okay. then you know however much is in there, mm -hmm. okay? Because depending on how much comes out in a full 24 hours, will let us know when it's ready to be removed, okay? okay. So, like I said, you're gonna measure it, then you can go ahead and empty it, dump it in the sink, toilet, whatever you want, okay? And then when you're finished, what you're gonna do is squeeze the bulb and get all the air out, and then put the lever back mm -hmm. on. You've just, I you've watched so many videos. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so, you wanna make sure it's collapsed at all times. Yes. Because if it's not collapsed, the it's, air. Okay. Exactly, okay. it's not gonna um, suck any fluid yeah. from your belly. Okay. 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 So, the drain's gonna be in for about two weeks, okay? okay. How long are you guys gonna be in town for? about three weeks three weeks yeah. okay perfect and then um so the doctor will see you the very next day okay, okay. so you're gonna come in are you okay to go to beverly hills on friday yeah because i have like, my hotel is down there so oh, is it okay yeah, we didn't okay. know yeah so oh, that would be perfect okay, okay. And we can yeah. yeah so you'll be here for surgery tomorrow at this same location right okay okay then friday you can go to beverly hills for your post-op Okay. okay. And can I make can I have appointments there from there? Yeah. So the okay. that following Friday, you can be seen again at that same location. Okay. Okay. That'd be perfect. Perfect. Okay. And then, but if you have to be seen sooner, you would have to come to this location. But otherwise, you can be seen over there. And typically, it's every you know once a week we'll see you. Okay. Right? Okay. Okay. That works. <laughs> I was just afraid of that you know drive. Got it. Okay. For going drive. home, what it's not home? bad. You're just, you definitely have to probably, you're going to lay on in the back seat and yeah. you have to lay on your sides. Okay. And pillows or whatever. Yeah, yeah, bring a couple pillows so that you're more comfortable in the back seat. Okay? okay. You just can't sit on your butt directly. Now, would I be able to take medication right after yes. surgery so I yes. can just take whatever So, you fine. should be fine when you're going home. You shouldn't have any pain. By the time you get home, that's when you should take your first dose. 
But if you're obviously in the car and you're, you know, you can't take it, you can definitely take the medication. But we want you to eat something with it, something as small as like a couple crackers. So if you maybe can purchase some crackers. Okay. Yeah, and bring those in with you. Okay. okay, just in case. And then some water, something for the car, right? Just in case. Sure. Okay. okay. You'll want to stay away from dairy products mm -hmm. um, the first few days because you're on your antibiotics. Okay. okay. Um, but otherwise, just start off with like um, liquids and slowly get into, you know, soft foods and then you okay. can, you know, gra gradually get back to your old diet, okay, okay. within the next day or so. Because okay. um, if you eat too heavy right immediately after surgery, you may vomit. So that's why I want you to start with something light and then go from there. And they give us uh, vomit, like nausea, uh, if you have, If you're really nauseous, then we'll call it in, but typically we don't. Because um, you're going to be under IV sedation, so it's not general anesthesia. So the medication that we give you will actually, um, we tend to use it for to uh, treat nausea. So you shouldn't have any nausea. So it's very odd for somebody to have it. So what's the procedure now? If you said out. Uh, You'll be thing? under IV sedation. Okay. So we do a deep IV sedation where you're going to be completely asleep, where you won't see, hear, remember anything, but you're not under general anesthesia where you don't need a breathing tube. So you don't have all the risk of oh, like okay. getting blood clots or you don't have the machine breathing for you and all oh, that okay. good stuff. So I won't be cold after shaking. No, because your muscles are going to be, well, you might have that sensation just from the lipo that he's doing. Okay. But otherwise, um, like during surgery, you won't because your, your muscles are still working. You're not going to be completely paralyzed. Okay. And so, and what's good about that is because your muscles are still moving that you won't, you um, prevent getting blood clots. Cool. Okay. okay, and that's what we don't want. Right. Okay. <laughs> so do I have to, uh, what about, I heard about a shot you're supposed to get to make your blood thinner or something. Um, uh, if they need it during surgery, they, they'll do it, but typically we don't give it to everybody. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to, okay. yeah, we definitely don't want to thin your blood unless we need to, or right. maybe because during surgery you're going to lose blood. So if it's too thin, then you'll lose too much. Right. Okay. okay. And he's a family practitioner. Yes. Okay. I get all my blood work done. He did it at EKG. Perfect. And I think they sent the paper over there saying that they was clearing me for surgery. So Perfect. Yeah. All that. I'll call them. It's easy to get a I think over. the only thing issue. that was is my blood was slightly, my, not blood, iron was slightly low. That's what they said. Okay. So, yeah, you definitely don't want the iron too low. Did they put you on medication for it? Uh, no, no. They said it was a slight, it was nothing to nothing be alarming. Crazy. Right. Okay. Right. So, but the only thing is after liposuction, um, it's already going to bring your iron low. So, I I'll talk to Dr. Meaty. He may want you to start something. Um, to finish after surgery. Okay. okay some iron medication. Yeah, I, ha I got some SS tonic and some other stuff. I'm uh -huh. trying to work on the iron. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so if you have it, go ahead and take that. I can take that now? You can take it. Mm -hmm. Oh, take it I was staying time. away from everything because no, I didn't know. The iron's good for you, especially because the lipo, it's already going to bring your iron lower. So by having, you know, taking the medication, it's going to help bring your iron up. Okay, I brought yeah. it. So with, yeah, okay. so you can take that and you can even continue it after surgery. Okay. Okay. Yes. Um, do you tend to bruise easily? I don't know. You know I haven't know. never had any bruise. I had a C-section before. Okay. But no, I'm not a bruiser. <laughs> okay. So usually if you, you know, patients that tend to bruise easily, I would recommend to get Arnica. Have you heard of that before? No. It's like an herbal supplement, so you can purchase that at any pharmacy if you want CVS to. CVS too? Uh, yeah, CVS will have it. You know the name? Arnica. Oh, Arnica. I'm not going to look at that later. <laughs> Arnica. Okay, I got it. Okay, so um, Arnica, you can actually purchase that and start that if you want to. If you do it, just start it now. And it just helps with some bruising and swelling. Okay. Um, if you don't do it, it's you know, not a big deal. Okay. Okay? Okay. Any okay. And then how long is it going to be? Um, surgeries. Six hours. Six hours. Yeah. Okay. Hello, world. Y'all, I'm talking to you guys today to let you know that tomorrow is my surgery. So, what basically I'm here to show you guys my befores and after. So, as you can see, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys clips of my progression of why I am. Um, of how I was, how I used to look. So I used to be like 200 pounds, over 200 pounds, and I think I shared some of that with you guys in the beginning. Um, after I had Darius, I gained so much weight, and then I lost a lot of weight when, uh, you know, after I had him, just pretty much eating like low carb and a lot of, you know, low carb stuff and different things like that. But I have, um, I'm going to show you before pictures and then I'm going to show you pictures of, one of how I looked at when I was in high school and then after
after I had Darius and then after I lost the weight from Darius. Here's the pictures I was talking about. I was trying to find other pictures, but we moved. So it is hard to find those pics. So here goes a pic from me and my husband. This is when I was pregnant with Darius. And then this is when after I a little bit after I had Darius. That's my license. And you see my weight was 210. This was not my highest weight, me and my highest weight. I think my high, highest weight was like 220, maybe 230 or something like that. But so this is what it, how I looked. You see my face is so chubby. But I lost had lost a lot of weight after the uh, the baby weight, and then here it is, uh, like in 2007, around that time that you see me slendering down. Um, I've got my shape, and then this is me again. So I, after that period, I'm thinking my weight was teetered. Uh, you know, I lost all that weight. And so that's, I've always had thick legs. I can't get rid of that. That's not going to ever uh, go away. But I just want y'all to see the transition. I would have had better pictures. But when I do find those pics, I will be sure to give you guys uh, the update on that. But yeah, so that's it. And enjoy the rest of the vlog. So here, we, here is how I look now. Uh, this is my body now. Side view. I'm not too big, y'all. But... I'm a buck 46. Um, here's the back view. I don't know if y'all can see my back because of my hair. But that's my back view. This is my other side view. And this is the front view. Now, I'm going to show y'all my stomach. Okay? My stomach, stomach. Now, it looks good. You know, I mean, in these pants, of course, they're controlled from um, me having these pants on. And you really can't see that I don't really have a, my butt, I used to have a butt butt, but you know, when I had kids, kind of took that away, and it's not as curvy as I wanted, so that's why I'm getting um, a LiPo 360 Tommy Tuck and a BB, a Brazilian butt lift. So, right here. Now, this is, this is going to be scary, so close your eyes if you can't understand and watch. So, this is pretty much... I'm going to show y'all, not trying to show y'all too much, but enough. But this is pretty much how my body is. Now, y'all see that? This is all wiggly weight of my stomach because of all the weight that I have lost um, after I had Darius. So, this has always been hanging here. And, you know, this right here, this ain't no... Ain't no gym going to get rid of this. This is just excess meat. That's why I'm trying to get a tummy tuck to tuck this off. So what he's going to do, my physician, he's going to cut from above my belly button all of this meat off. This hanging meat that you see, this excess meat that you guys see. He's going to cut all it off. You see how wiggly that is? He said, okay, first off, I don't have enough fat in my around here and i don't know what it looks like on camera because i'm a buck 46 i don't know how i look on camera but he said that i look, don't have enough meat around here so they have to take me for my thighs as well to be in order to give me what i need for my butt so he's going to take me from here and my thighs fat fat right i said meat yeah, I know what I'm talking about. I know, I know y'all, some of y'all love me. But anyways, a lot of y'all love me. <laughs> anyways, they're going to take fat from here and my uh, legs because, you know, I, have, I don't have enough fat around the 360 part. So, they are going to contour my whole body, y'all. My whole entire body is going to get contoured. And this is not... Actually, I'm going to have three procedures, but not at the same time. Um, they're going to do my arms because my arms have um, excess uh, flat, you know, right here. This ain't no gym going to get rid of this because of me losing all that weight. So, they're going to tighten this up. They're going to tighten my thighs up. And then I'm going to, my breast is going to be um, lifted. Not, I, I don't need no more chest added to my my uh you know my breast because i'm already a triple d so i don't need no more of these i need to get rid of it i'd be nice if i can get lower you know what i'm saying but all they're gonna do is uplifting and y'all i am excited 
I am so super duper excited. It's my mommy makeover. And I know this is going to be the most controversial video I've ever made on my channel. However, y'all know I can take, I can withstand anything, with anything, what anybody say, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, it's me. I have to live with my body and I love it. And my husband love it. He he don't want me to get. He like he said I'm fine. I know he said that, but I've been wanting a tummy tuck, at least a tummy tuck, for years. However, I have been very very scared of the pain. Does that make sense? I I dread the healing process, and it's it's to the point right now that I'm like. I need to get it done. I want to get. I need to get done because I want to look better in my clothes. You know, when I, cause I'm, I'm doing YouTube now, and you know, I'm interested in fashion, fashion deals. You know, doing things for brands, and I want my clothes to fit, fit right. I want my clothes to look nice, and I know that I don't have a big body. It's just that certain things I can't wear because of all the excess skin. And I know some of you ladies understand what I'm talking about. And the, you know, me, the hanging arm. You know, it's not too bad. You know, I'm not to the point where I just hate myself. I, you know, I don't hate myself. But my thing is, it is, if you could get it fixed, why not get it fixed? So, right now I'm in a place where I can get it fixed. And I'm going to get it fixed. So, I'm going to take you guys out through this whole process. I am going to be transparent as possible on these videos my husband is going to be my camera guy and like i said tomorrow i go into surgery at 12 noon 12 o'clock noon and your girl is going to get all this taken out all this sucked out of me i wonder how low my waist is going to be because right now i am a 28 in a waist and i hope i don't be i don't i i, I can't see myself going to a 25 Maybe a 26, huh? I don't know how that translates. I don't know, but y'all, I can't see myself going too much small. Because if anything's any small, I know I'll be like, okay, how am I breathing? How can I eat? You know what I'm saying? That's what I think, because that's just too small. But y'all see all of that. So, hopefully everything um, comes together the right way. Uh, I trust my surgeon. I trust that he's going to do an amazing job. I have no worries in that. I am not scared and not... You know, afraid, but ask me again when I get up to that point where I'm in that room with him, and they're about to, the anesthesia uh, guy come in and and you know do all his stuff. That's when I probably this is gonna get real. But at any rate, y'all, I'm just gonna like I said, I'm gonna take you through this process. My husband is going to record everything, even up until when he sees me the first time. Um, when I'm getting in the van possibly when I'm getting in the van when he's taking me to the room and he's trying to lay me down I want you guys to know the ones that are out there that wants to get this procedure done and, and afraid and don't know what it all entails I want you guys to um I just want to walk you through and be transparent as possible um and it's going to be a journey it is going to be a journey but I am a good, I am a strong fighter, y'all. And I'm a person that can take a lot of pain. So, I took that C-section and I'm just like, I did it with no medication and whatever. But, no, they're trying to give, they're giving us me medication, I think, Percocets or something like that. But I'm going to try not to, I'm going to try to probably, for the first few days, I am going to have to be on some medicine. I already know I am. I ain't going to even tough that one out. But, um... I'm going to try not to get, you know, get hooked or, you know, do it for so long. If I don't have pain, I'm just not going to take it because I heard that they, that you can really get, you know, I guess hooked on if you take it so, so much. But me as a person, I don't like to be, I don't like to be hooked on anything. So I'm at the point where I just want to make, you know, do this as natural as possible. But if, when I need the medicine, I'm going to take it. I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to take it if I'm in pain. Because I don't want to be pain in pain. But, okay, enough of me babbling. But y'all see, this is how I look, y'all. This is it. This is it. I'm saying goodbye. This is it. And this is my back. Fat. I really don't have a lot. Uh, but this is it. It's wiggly, 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 wiggly. And then, like I said, I can pick it. I used to always do this in the mirror, and I know my husband said I used to be like this. I would suck it in and be like, because this stuff is so thick, so wobbly. It's just skin. That's it's just skin hanging, y'all. Just skin. 
excess skin of me losing that much weight. That's a new about 10 pounds. So, right, 10 pounds? I don't yeah, think so. I think so. Well, y'all, I'm a buck 46, 146 point six as of uh, right now of uh, my doctor. Now I'm gonna tell you this, you do have to be in good health to get this surgery. Don't get it twisted. You cannot go in there with some saying that you got high blood pressure, you got this going on with you, you got uh, all of that. You have to, in order, if you guys are thinking about doing this, I would suggest that you start taking vitamins, um, trying to get, um, go to the doctor, uh, go to the doctor get a, uh, uh, yeah, a checkup, a physical, um, try to, uh, if you need to lose weight, eat right, eat, uh, some, you know, the foods that you need to eat in order for your blood to stay stable, um, get your blood pressure under, um, wraps and all that other crap, other stuff, but my, uh, my stuff is clean, y'all. I'm not too bad on the iron. My iron was slightly low, but none of nothing that's of, of concern that they couldn't do the operation on me. It was very, you know what I'm saying? I'm not uh, bad at it, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm not a neat, what's called anemic? I'm not anemic. So, it is what it is. But, I'm pretty good for the, I'm a good candidate. He says I'm a perfect candidate for this um, surgery. So, I'm excited. And I hope you guys are excited for me. I don't care what y'all, what the uh, naysayers say, the you know, the haters or whatever, or, no, nah, I ain't gonna say haters. I'm not opposed to anybody telling Nick, giving their opinion, because I know a lot of people are very opinionated when it comes to surgery and different things like that. I'm gonna just say, say this, that I'm a, person, a firm believer that you can do whatever you want to do with your body. You know, it is you. It's you. You do whatever you want. Be whoever you want. I don't care. I'm not going to judge you. I mean, I'm not out there to judge anybody. And I don't care who's out, who said that, you know, that who's judge judges me. It is what it is. I am who I am. And I'm going to get this body snatched. Yes. I am. <laughs> Anyways, y'all. But this is the end of this video. What I'm going to do is show you. This is day one. So... Let me put the date in here. It is February 27th. This is on a, what is the day? Wednesday? Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, February 27th. And it's a roughly about, I'm in, Cal in LA. And actually Beverly Hills to be exact. And uh, my surgery is on the 28th of February. So I'm going to go by day. So today is February 27th. This is a roughly around, hmm. 5 30 8 o'clock mm, i'm really y'all so eight o'clock tonight um i am not allowed to eat anything and if you the previous clip as y'all seen um my pre-op appointment i'm not allowed to eat after 12 midnight and i have to drink uh, plenty of water so between now and 12 midnight i'm going to drink a gallon of water y'all a gallon of water in me so you have to be very very hydrated when you get a surgery done also, I have to bathe with an uh, antibacterial soap. I cannot go in with any makeup on, and that's about it. I can keep my nails on, though. So, um, I was uh, happy to hear that. Um, well, happy to know that because they didn't tell me I didn't. I had to take it off, but I'm sure I have to take all, remove all jewelry. Um, I would do that anyway. Um, and that's about it. So the next clip you will see is me tomorrow and my husband. Um, probably the doctor marking me up. And I'm giving him my wish pics of what I want to look like. And then I'm off to surgery. And then the next thing you'll see is my husband. Because I don't know. I may be out of it. I may not even remember anything. Because they said sometimes you can get... Um, uh, short term memory loss or whatever anesthesia probably I'll probably be out of it so much out of it the first day or maybe not that, you're not you're not doing the uh, anesthesia like that yeah it's a different type of anesthesia they're giving me my muscles are going to mm -hmm. be not put to sleep she said yeah, they, they so, it's not going to be a gas that puts you it's not right it's not a gas and they're not putting a tube down my throat yeah. or none of that so this is a different procedure so i'm happy to hear that because some of the procedure people say they throat hurt yeah. when they woke up and all that other stuff but yeah 
I don't want to prolong it this thing, but I'm so excited. Y'all hope y'all most of y'all excited for me. And by the time y'all see this, I'm gonna been done. Y'all, y'all done already seen videos, so but I'm excited, I'm happy, and I thank God that I'm in a position where I be a I'm able to get this surgery. And baby, don't do that. My husband got his shirt up showing me his belly. Anyways, so y'all, I will talk to y'all later. This is my last time popping on this, popping on this, or snacking on this belly. Billy, willy, 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 willy. And I'm excited, so. And y'all, don't think that I'm just getting this procedure done because I've been, yes, y'all, this has been planned, but I just didn't tell anybody. I wasn't sharing anything with anybody. I just let, actually, you know, I, I told people, you know, I wanted to do this, and you know what? I, like I said, I have my ifs, my uh, re reservations about it. My, what am I trying to say? My reservations about it because of the pain. And I'm like, I already got my husband. My husband loved me for who I am, and it didn't matter. So, but I'm thinking that then, you know, you get to thinking. I'm a woman. I'm like, shoot, I want to look good in my clothes. I want this deal. I want to be able to look good clothes when I wear them and stuff like that. So I will be able to, to accomplish that with getting this body contoured to what it needs to be contoured to. You get but, me? Yeah, just to add, this is not something that you... Um, just thought of today. It was right. planned and mm -hmm. paid for. Oh yeah. For a month, so. Yes, it's, it's paid for. Yeah. It's been yeah. It's. It's been planned. It's been paid for and everything. And I had my cons my consultation. Did all this stuff that I needed to do in order to get approved. My doctor approved me and everything. So it's all good, ladies and gentlemen. And so the next clip you will see will be me tomorrow at the clinic. Love you guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Anyways, today is the day. Today is the day that I get my surgery done. I'm on my way now. Today I had to. I a couple of things that I did not tell y'all. I had to um shower with antibacterial soap. Bacterial soap. Also, I had to wear the zip up. Y'all see the zip up jacket and everything. Something very loose, something very comfortable where I can be able to not, I don't have to lift my arms or put any strain on my body. So this is a zip up. I have nothing but a bra up under here. So it is what it is. And uh, you can't put lotions on your face. You can't uh, put perfume, makeup or anything. So my face is so super de duper dry can't put nothing on your lips so it is what it is so you have to i guess they do that for um surgical purposes surgery purposes um also i have my husband's slide ons on Are with the them huh ticket number is oh he's trying to get the car y'all anyways and i have slides on um also i forgot to tell y'all that um with my tummy tuck, I'm going to be getting a, um, they're going to be repairing my muscles. So they're going to be sewing all of my uh, stomach muscles. Um, it's going to be a stomach, I mean muscle repair. That's what it's called, muscle repair. So they're going to stitch all those up to get that tightness again. So I think that's about it. But I guess the next time I see y'all is in um, the surgery. Not the surgery, maybe the uh, area that I have to wait when the anesthesia um, guy come in. and Or actually the doctor and my doctor's name is Dr. Um, Dr. Omidi. His name is Dr. Omidi and he's in the Beverly Hills area. Um, he's double certified, double board certified. Um, he's been doing this over 17 years and yeah so I'm happy um, that I'm getting it done and I'm excited to see what the results is. I may not be able to see myself today. It depends on how I feel because you need, I, I didn't watch hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of videos and everybody's experience is different. Some people may be uh, lethargic and, and some people were not lethargic. They were very well up and doing their thing and I think it has a lot to do with your hemoglobin. Um, so hopefully I brought my SS tonic with me to make sure that I'm taking that and I brought that um vitamin 1000 powder um I think vitamin C or whatever that powder substance that you put in a drink in your water drink so you'll be able to get you all the um the vitamins and different things in your body so your body can feel up to par when um I'm trying to heal so I'll see you guys later I love you peace 
All right, guys, we walking in. No, you ain't. Are you serious? This is the day. I'm gonna knock you out. Yep. I already told them that. I know. But they're gonna have to hear me for the next couple of days. Thank you.
checking out the list. The honeydew list, y'all. LA time which means for my body it's like pfft, one in the morning Any
not nauseous nauseous or anything like that so
we're gonna let her rest. Um, <clears throat> we go to the doctor in about um, about three and a half hours uh, to get her checked again and make sure everything is good. Uh, like I said, she has some mashed potatoes. She has some uh, Boost protein shakes. I gave her 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 um, pain med and her um, antibiotic. So. I'm getting ready to hop in the shower and get dressed for today. And uh, we'll see you guys in a little while. Hey, what's up guys? So we are, it's about 4.30. We're running a little bit late for the doctor's appointment. We are on our way. And there she is. I had to do her hair, get her all together. She's resting. Hey, what's up everybody? So you guys see, She's here in the, in the doctor's office. They just got through with the consultation and everything is good. Everything so, is good. So we're gonna get her up and get her moving again. <coughs> get her drinking some more water. Um, I just gave her a dose of her pain meds and um, we're gonna get, get her back, get her some antibiotics, get her some food and uh, just keep, keep monitoring her. So, yeah, you guys, this is my second day of operating, uh, post-op. Second day post-op. And yeah, I'm telling you, this is amazing. I promise you, when I say I don't feel any pain, I don't feel anything. I'm just, you know, I, all it is is I'm feeling sore because I've been in the gym all day. That's about it. There you go. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Is that all we need? Yep, that's it. Okay. Do you want to okay. in here a few minutes? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just just okay. All right, thank you. <laughs> the staff is amazing. When I tell you that God is good, I picked the right doctor, the right staff. His bedside manners is Yeah, he's, he's very, very personable. Very, very personable. Very, very attention to detail. Yes. Absolutely. He's, you know, he met with me, told me everything that, you know, was what, what went on in the surgery afterwards while you were in recovery. Told me the things to watch out for, as well as the nurse. The nurse went.